and then this. Oh my gosh. I'm looking for chips, looking everywhere. And I know it's made in China. I get it, but it's just fun and fun sells. So you are going with me, little fishy. Don't make you dizzy and let's go see what we can find okay i see the halloween is already coming out i guess it's only a couple months away right yikes another sugar skull they call those some of those can do pretty good and check out this little cutie and it is a wachterspach i think i'm saying that right now I mean, usually they make Christmas, so I've never seen the, I guess, it looks like a seal to me. It does not look like a cat, but I think it's supposed to be a black cat. I don't know. I'm getting it, even with that little chip. This little guy's cute. I mean, he's cute. He's probably, you know, 10 to 15. So that's not the amount of profit margin that I'm looking for, even though he might very well sell. But I do grab this because it has a hummingbird on it and it does appear to be vintage. And if it's not vintage, it appears to be vintage and that sells. <laughs> I don't know. I liked this little teacup with the colorful birds and I would have picked it up had it not been $5.99. It looks a bit like Odagiri, but not sure. And this is so Art Deco. Um, I did go ahead and grab this piece because uh, I just love it. I considered getting this brass um, sled and reindeers and looking at some comps it looks like it would have sold good had it been in good condition but it was pretty rough and then this oh my gosh I'm looking for chips looking everywhere and I know it's made in China I get it but it's just fun and fun sells so you are going with me little fishy this poor thing is still here it's been here for months it is the top half of what would have been a, I guess a music box is what you would call it, like a music trinket box. It is Limoges. Um, and when they're intact, they sell really well. I just really like the look of this with all these little pebbles in it. And then I spot this and it turns out this uh, Hankook is actually a really good brand and I probably should have picked that up in hindsight, but I did not. And this is a really adorable vintage lampshade, but 
it's missing all of its innards that actually hold it onto a lamp. Otherwise, I probably would have bought it. And same with the seashells. I actually have some jars of seashells in my bathroom and I considered whether I needed another one. I was really considering it, but then I left it behind because I really don't need another one. These are interesting. They are chalkware. $7.99 made me put that right back on the shelf though. This thing was very odd and interesting. It was definitely vintage. Um, that little top slides open and I think it's supposed to have like a little scene inside. So I figure I'm going to go to the dollar store and pick up some of the little things that I see there and I'm going to finish this off with some little gnomes or something. Maybe some little critters and I'll probably take this down to the booth because it's one of those you got to see it in real life kind of things. For $3.99, I can take that chance. This was a, a hobbyist piece and not very well painted. And then this guy is a, an Aztec or Mayan, it's like onyx or marble, you could call it marble. I think it's actually both. Um, but that price is a little steep for what they actually sell for. The patchwork, I thought it was a teddy bear. It's not. It is a bunny. There's those ears. Come here, ears. It's a floppy bunny. Really cute. Um, I did consider this but I don't believe it had much age on it. And at $7.99, it was a pass. I'm still looking for some more bunnies by the bay. I thought I'd spotted a piece of Amari down here. It had all the right colors, but it ended up being a tin. Do you notice this plate is kind of like off center? It was bugging me. I'm in the candle holder section where sometimes I find some really cool stuff like these pieces, obviously vintage. I expected them to be wood and they were not. They're ceramic made to look like carved wood, which I always find intriguing. So I did go ahead and pick these up for $3 each. Plus I had a 20% discount. I had to think about it for a minute. Cute little elephant, but he was contemporary. Now, a little trick, if you ever have candle wax stuck in a piece like this, stick it in the freezer overnight, take it out, and that should pop right off. These were really pretty candle holders. They are Andrea by Sedeck. And there was two of them, but they wanted $15 and that is not where I would want to be on those. I actually might have paid the $7.99 on those. I have sold some of these crackle glass candle holders. They are made by Yankee Candle Company. And um, I actually sold some Christmas ones that did quite well. Uh, this just had a little bit of damage and I'm just not really into getting Christmas stuff unless it's really vintage. Ugh, the blasted red Made in China sticker. Um, out here, that's what the dollar stores are. That's what you find on the stuff in the dollar stores. So that to me is just an absolute no-go. 
What? What are you doing up on the shelf all by yourself for three ninety nine even? Well, you are coming with me. Yes, single bookends can sell very well. And I'm looking at all the roosters. I know I get a lot of comments about you guys loving roosters. Um, but this guy just didn't do much for me. And I spot the little elephant bowl. And I don't know who made him at this point. So for five bucks, actually four bucks with my discount, I'm like, okay, I'll take a chance on you. And this was not bronze or brass, which are the ones that sell good. He was a ceramic, and there was only one with a chip. So he left, got left behind. And this, again, is that kind of abstract Native American-looking pottery. I tend to stay away from Native American pottery because it can be a little bit tricky to sell on eBay. They have lots of rules around it. He was just cute. He reminded me of Mr. Toad from like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Mr. Toad. These were very contemporary and there was only two. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I actually sold one just like this but I only sold it, I think, for like $15. So trying to stay disciplined. Trying, trying, trying. Oh, this always makes me sad when I see a piece that was obviously done by a child, I'm assuming. And then it gets thrown into the thrift store. Ah, here we go. Home Essentials. Darn it. That is too contemporary um, for me. So I bring his little friend over to him. And this is a crystal giraffe sculpture and I really, I loved it. And it, had it been cheaper, it would have been in the cart in a hot second, but at $7.99, I decided to leave it behind. Ha, a hippo, just like one I sold recently. Only the one I had actually had the stopper. And that little vintage girl was missing her halo. See, that says times four. Cracking me up. They threw the little donkey into that set. He doesn't really go with them. This was a cast iron. Um, I'm not sure what it was meant to go with or be, but it was painted and mm, just not very attractive to me. The vase was a newer piece. Again, really tough to sell that stuff that doesn't have something that has a collectible factor as well as being good to look at. Yeah, someone said in one of the comments that the thrift stores are just overflowing with Christmas stuff already because during quarantine, everybody was cleaning out their stuff and it's so easy to get rid of Christmas stuff when it's nowhere near Christmas. And see, there's more of that snowman dinner set that I pointed out in my video yesterday. It is in every thrift store. And I had to take a look at this because if it was all there, I was going to get this for my doggies. Sadly, it was not all there. The actual main pump part was missing. Got to look through all of these glass vases and oh, I get excited and then, oh, I see that this is a major just reproduction piece. So it goes right back on the shelf, sadly. And this, I don't even know what to say about this. I will just let it speak for itself as a hobbyist piece. Yeah. Give me your thoughts in the comment on that piece. And I'm just showing you this piece, obviously not a 
authentic piece of anything worthwhile. It is a made in China reproduction piece. I'm just attracted to the colors on these vases and that's what brings me to take a closer look. Color kind of is my draw like this blue pottery piece which I knew I knew it was going to be contemporary when I grabbed it but I had to look anyway I liked it these uh, French cat I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that but they do really well um, that one you know is all wrinkly and stuff so I left it but be on the lookout for those French prints they do do well and these were vintage, but I just, I don't know. I wasn't feeling them. I do love how Savers lays out their art. Just makes it so easy to shop. Versus, you know, when the art is piled into carts that you have to thumb through. This is done really nicely. It is an oil and it has some age on it. I can tell by the discoloration of the canvas. Really nicely done piece. So that one is coming with me. And I kind of like this, but it was just an old print. This was not a painting. I did consider it, but I don't know. There was something about it that was a little, little on the dark side for me. And with art, I kind of have to like it because it may stick around a while. This is just a little piece of needlepoint little duckies but they wanted $12.99 this piece reminded me of the vase I showed on my Monday live haul show um, but this one was newer I like the look of this but it was really really lightweight when I went to pick it up it, I thought it was glass and it was not and then here's another little piece of the dried flowers. They just don't they just don't bring enough money for me to mess with them. I have to be super selective these days because time is so limited. Hey, does anybody even save coins anymore cuz those could become a hot commodity it seems like soon. <laughs> Oops. I almost went down the wrong road. This particular savers started their rows all wonky and it drives me crazy. This is Moon and Stars and unfortunately for as big and bulky as this is, it, it just doesn't bring enough money and it had a major chip on the lid. That was the Larson cookie jar. So I spot this really interesting kind of casserole. I don't know, can you turn that lid over and have it be a serving bowl? That's what it felt like to me. It was made in Japan and it says fireproof, um, but it did have a major boo-boo on there, so that stayed behind. But if you know anything about that piece, I'd love to know down in the comments. Gotta dig under all the stuff. Looks like they're getting a lot of stuff that came from the dollar store. I specifically remember some of this decor at the, the dollar store where things are well, actually, the, like the 99 cent store. So they're marking it up to $2.99 when it was 99 cents at the 99 cent store.
This little bear was cute, but he was very contemporary. He was not vintage, and he was a little on the loose side. I actually would have bought that little doll seesaw had it not been missing one of the handles. I thought it was unique. I really liked this recipe, this uh, cookbook holder. I just... I don't cook enough to justify putting a cookbook holder in my kitchen. And this was a clock that was made to look like an old scale. I thought that was cute. Some more nativity pieces that I took a look at. It was kind of a mishmash of pieces though and without a full set it was not going to bring good money so I left that one I wasn't sure what he was at first but now I know he holds a cup now they had several of this maple leaf um, reminded me of Mikasa but I have looked for Mikasa and have not been able to find that pattern and then I spot this it's a cast iron mirror now I know this is a repro and um, I was taking a picture. <laughs> I know it's a repro, but I love the color. And if it's not going to bring good money, I can give it to my daughter as a gift. Ascension Lutheran. Um, there's a whole history of this church on the back. And if you want to pause the video and read that, you can do that. Um, I did not read the whole thing, but it looked interesting. This was restaurant wear, and I did go ahead and grab this because it's a platter, and a platter will sell on its own for some decent money. This is actually glass. I was surprised. I expected it to be plastic. Now, the lid is plastic, so I don't know much about that, but I found it interesting. And then I spot these little guys. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm so blinded by love that I get all the way over to my cart before I realize that their little trunks are broken off. And so sadly, <laughs> I have to put it back on the shelf. That made me sad. And this was cute. Um, it was not an old, old piece, so... Made in Taiwan. You know, it's not new, new, but it wasn't old, old. And so I left that one behind. I bet my daughter would have liked it, though. And I'm trying to see, I'm trying to figure out what's in this box. My one-handed, try to get into it, and I end up giving up. <laughs> it felt empty. And then I spot another piece of restaurant wear. And you can tell restaurant wear, it's just like thicker and rounder than the china you would use at home for lack of a better description that about sums it up and that one was was a newer piece this was just a big bowl very big bowl from world market I like the little teapot set, but it was Oneida. Okay, this thing, oh my gosh, it was so heavy, 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 heavy. And I'm looking at it, it's all chipped up around the edges. And even though it is, and I'll show you the tag, stop, stop, Danny, focus. It's genuine alabaster made in Italy. So it's a, it's a pretty good piece, but... Condition-wise, I decided to leave it behind. I don't know. Is there a way to polish that up? Maybe there is. Maybe I should learn. And I have never seen a gold speckled piece of Pyrex. And so I go ahead and grab that piece to find out more about it. 
And there's more of that maple leaf glass. So if you know anything about that, I would love to know because I haven't been able to find it. This is another piece of Everlast hammered aluminum. And I talked about this in my video yesterday. This little picture had a nice look to it. And then when I turned it over, I see it's Estee Lauder 1980. So I thought, hmm, okay, I like it. And worst case scenario, if it's not a good seller, I can make a flower arrangement in it. And then I spot these Get Cooking Plates by Royal, Royal Norfolk. Nor oh, I have to be careful how I say that. <laughs> Norfolk. <laughs> Um, yeah, that didn't come out right. Eh. <laughs> okay, these had a really nice look to them. This is why I grabbed them, because there's a pair. They appear to be vintage, and they are stoneware, and so those are coming with me. I spot this one lone blue onion or Danube is another uh, name for this pattern. Um, it's pretty popular still, surprisingly. And this pattern gets confused for it a lot, but it is not. This pattern does not bring good money, and I forget the name of it right now. Um, but the Blue Onion can do pretty darn good still. This is kind of how I go through the china. I'm just looking for something that kind of pops and grabs my attention. And underneath here, I see these cute little flower plates. And I really like these, but they are modern. And there's only three. I mean, that's even, sometimes I'll pick up modern. You've seen me pick up modern, but it has to be worthwhile. It, I mean, I know there's a set of four of those, um, but still, it's it's modern, and I don't want to ship four bowls. If it's something I can take down to the booth, then yeah, sometimes I'll give it a chance. It just depends. I mean, I don't have any hard set rules on that. It's it's kind of going with a gut feel. And I just noticed, did you see on the shelf, there was the matching tumblers to that picture I saw earlier. There's the Libby mark. I wanted to show you the Libby silver leaf. Those only do good in like the original sets. And there's one sad little mid-century coin glass there. Also, you need at least a couple, at least a couple. I am not picking up orphans at this time. There was a time that I would pick up orphans, meaning like if I saw one of a pattern I knew was a good pattern, and then I'd wait until I found another one uh, but I can't do that anymore. I just don't have the space. And then I tend to forget what I have also. So it was a good strategy once upon a time though. And for some of you, that may be a good strategy. It's kind of fun to then go on that treasure hunt. And I really liked this mug. Uh, like I've said before in other videos, these scripture dishes and mugs and and things do really well, um, but that one was at $4.99, so I passed. But I did pick up Mr. Krabby. I liked Mr. Krabby. This was made to look like enamelware, but it was not. It was just pottery, but I needed to get the little set together. It distresses me when things get separated. Like I'm still thinking about finding those tumblers and not realizing it and going and putting them with their pitcher. And then they put their big, big art back on the back shelf. And I always go through it because I have grabbed some really nice pieces from there. 
Um, that guy's just a little bit on the creepy side. Let's get by him quickly. <laughs> and then, uh, not seeing anything that's really interesting today. This is all just like model home art is what I call this. Except for Jesus, we love Jesus. Okay, I did pretty good there. Got a few big things, but I always, always forget they don't give you a bag unless you pay for it. And this guy was really bad at wrapping stuff. So I got a lot of stuff to just load in here. So. Did get one bag of goodies. But now I'm gonna block my camera completely. And that wasn't very smart, was it? Okay. painting and he was setting stuff on it and I was having a little bit of a heart attack with that. I went ahead and get the, I have not looked this up yet, but I have never seen a speckled Hyrex. So I thought, you know what, for three bucks, I'm going to figure out what it's all about because I like it. And you saw me get these nice little things. They look like wood, but they're not. They're ceramic and they're not wrapped. So I will use some old uh, fast food bags in the back here. And this, I think I'm going to go to the dollar store. They have these little um, things you can put in like little elf gardens. And I'm gonna finish this off because the wood itself is so nice uh, that for three bucks, again, I can do something with that. I did get the two pieces of restaurant wear platters, which will probably go down to the booth. I probably will not list those until, unless, you know, if somebody here watching it really wants them, uh, leave me a comment and I'll tell you, or go over on Facebook, find me. I'm pretty easy to find on Facebook too. Um, but if you ever see anything, I'd much rather sell it without paying fees. So, hey, um, and I got my daughter a little, a little denim jacket which she has been asking for so there I spent $63 there and uh, tune in on a Monday and find out how much I make on all this stuff so Mondays at 1 o'clock I go live so with that go be profitable and make it fun I gotta get home get in the air conditioning see ya